It is Tuesday morning and in case you haven't noticed the last two weeks have been a little different. That's because of this guy. You were MIA, missing I was. action. I was. Uh, but you were enjoying some much needed time off. How was it? It was wonderful. Yeah. I missed you, buddy. I missed you too. I missed I'm you. Glad to have you back. Uh, it's only appropriate when you're not here. Pop off also has to take a little break. A little bit. Yeah. But you understand. Zach, this is an important segment. We're sorry we took off. We're sorry because obviously <laughs> we are examining tax dollars that are being spent in the city of Houston. We've been doing this now for more, more than a year. More than a year. Our baby is now officially like a year, old, maybe what, 13 months, 14 uh, months about old? About a year. About a year. But we're examining these tax dollars because they get approved every single week at City Hall. And they're your tax dollars. And we try to hold people accountable saying, does this make sense? Does it not make sense? Yep. That's what we do. So I want to talk to you. You're extremely observant, right? I try uh, to be. Would, talk to us about trends that you're seeing with the agendas and what are we looking at this week? I'm going to tell you the first one that stands out, okay? Last week, we were done by about 10.20ish. Wait. 10.20 in the morning. So they start at 9 a.m. Yeah. They were done that's at 10.20. Less, that's less than 90 minutes. Uh, just about. My photographer, and they had a lot of agenda items. My photographer and I, John Hill, he's my partner. We always work together on these type of stories. We just got to look at each other and go, eh. Were you on time? What's going on? Were you on time? Did we were. Get, we yeah. got there at 9.15. Okay. So you got to rush on down. time for Mario. Yeah, but I mean, but here's the change that we're noticing. I that know, that's fast. They're that's getting wicked fast. Quickly. And in the past, it wasn't uncommon. We'd go until about 11.15, 11.30. Yeah. Uh, and now, and granted, the new mayor, we, I don't know if he's not any new anymore. He's been there right. for like four months. And the mayor, he's had some that have gone long, but not too okay. many. So. Uh, talk to us about what you're noticing this week. Okay, sir. here we're going to start right. Public Works... Well, they're back in the news. Multiple agenda items, and we're going to begin with number 10. Recommendation from Director of Houston Public Works for approval of final contract amount, Zach, of $4.2 million, Ooh. and a little bit of change here. Acceptance of work on contract with PM Construction and Rehab, LLC, DBA, IPR South Central for, oh, we forgot the R there, guys. That's supposed to be an R. For wastewater collection system rehabilitation and renewal. Okay, that's what we're looking at for this week. Yeah, so what does this mean? What are we doing with this amount? 4.2 million. Yeah, okay, the focus here is really simple. Okay, this is what it comes down to. Uh, this is to replace various neighborhood collection systems that are not getting the job done. And the purpose is to reduce the sanitary, sanitary sewer overflows. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to make sure that yeah. stuff's clean. Nobody wants You got to make sure that that overflow is completely cleaned out. Uh, and one thing about this, and this is what Houstonians should like, okay? The $4.2 million that we're talking about here is actually 9% under, under the original contract amount. That's another trend we've been noticing. Yes. I love seeing that yeah. percentage where it's either okay. it's 2% more, we take responsibility, or it's 9%. that perspective. Right, exactly. Okay, what else do you have, sir? Agenda item number 11, recommendation from the director of Houston Public Works for approval of final contract amount, uh, again, just over $4 million, and acceptance with our work with uh, our Miranda Trucking and Construction for citywide work orders for council district service fund projects that have taken place. These projects are already complete, but it's consisted of uh, the re it consisted of reconstruction of sidewalks. Mm. We know there's a lot of those curbs, ramps, ramps yeah. replacement of uh, damaged concrete pavement, panels overlay, overlaid, uh, deteriorated asphalt. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with the roads. Pavement services. It, it, it basically handled this area. There's a lot more to this, obviously, yeah. but that was the focus here. But money spent and the project was completed according to the agenda backup, which is what they provide you to understand what's going on with these city council agenda items. Okay. Okay. So I, I feel, Mario, like we're That's missing hard. something hey, 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 or we're, someone. We're back and I'm, I'm already exhausted. It's, you, you take a break, you gotta, you gotta get on the treadmill to work out the music, you know? So. You are, yeah, you're All right, beat. but we you're are beat. missing something. Yeah, or someone. I, Boy, feel like I, I hear you. Public Let's bring her in. Gonna... Bring her in. Here she is, Drum Amy roll. Davis. Oh, yeah. and, and we have to bring Amy in because of what happened. This is a two for Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is a two for Tuesday yeah. with regards to investigates. But we want to drill down on something. What is that, Zach? Yeah, it's a big story, obviously, that we've been following since last week. You broke it. Uh, talk to us about the departure of former director Carol Haddock. Yeah, Wednesday afternoon. First, I got an uh, email from a Public Works employee that said, hey, we just got this. And it was the message from Carol Haddock, letting them all know that she had submitted her resignation. She was moving on. Um, to pursue something else. She doesn't say what. And, you know, it all happened very quickly within just a short amount of time. The mayor alerted council. Right. 
Um, yeah, I mean, we know we know that her notice to the mayor was the same day. Everything happened oh, last wow. Wednesday afternoon. And, and the fast. reason we're bringing Amy in for people to understand, if you haven't seen it, where have you been? I mean, she yeah. has been covering all over this public works like there's no tomorrow. Kudos to you for that. But this was abrupt. It was somewhat unexpected. It was unexpected because it was just the very beginning of April when the mayor held a news right. conference and allowed Director Haddock to be there and say, OK, this is our water bill improvement plan. And I said at that news conference, I had some questions for her because she hasn't mm -hmm. sat down to talk with mm -hmm. us in more than a year. I was like, so are we why did you say this last year? Now you're saying this. And he was like, we're not going to do that here. And I said, we're not going to hold her accountable. And he was like, no, not today. Well, let me ask you this. From what you're hearing from your sources, and you're very well connected inside City Hall with regards to this subject matter, was this a resignation or was this a termination? Mm. Um, so I, I do know that Carol Haddock was very, she's worked for almost 19 years for the right. city of Houston, Public Works. She was very close to being able to take her full retirement. Mm. She did not make it there. Right. So she resigned. She did not retire. Right. And I think that says a lot. And the reason why I asked that, Zach, is because no, you remember, a question. because remember Mario Diaz, the airport director? Mm -hmm. No relation. To no relation. Mario no Diaz. relation. Right. Well, we when when he resigned, it was an abrupt resignation. Mm -hmm. And then I yeah. spoke to the mayor about it at City Hall and, and, and Mayor Whitmire that time I asked him, I said, well, you know, he resigned. And he goes, well, if he wants to call it that. Mm -hmm. I mean, he said that on yeah. camera and he was chuckling. Mm -hmm. That's why we asked, was this a resignation? And because there's a lot of Houstonians right. that were saying, why is she not gone on day one? Right. Yeah. 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 I think it says a lot um, in my Sources say that it says a lot that she was not allowed to work until October, which is right around the corner for her full retirement. Her full retirement, yeah. So she Makes resigned, sense. she turned in her resignation. Um, so, Amy, speaking of Houstonians, they're at the heart of this. Where does this leave public works? So he has appointed an interim um, director of public yeah. works who is a city engineer, Randy Smith, that's okay. been with public works. And then Randy Mackay has been the chief operating officer at public works um, for a couple years now. Right. And so then he stays there. And then I hear a national search they're talking about as well for this. They say they're going to look they're they're working now to find a permanent replacement. Opening that's up. just an interim. Uh, yeah. yeah. Replacement. Well, heck. We're the energy capital of the world. We got a whole bunch of refineries out there. I'm sure yeah. there's somebody out there that somebody can work that's these qualified, pipes. right? Yeah. I mean, think about yeah. it. You have all these corporations spending billions of dollars in our state. I'm sure there's somebody that can understand. Say, hey, let's do this because right. you're going to need that corporate partnership in terms of finding that right person down the road. Here. Exactly. So with this water bill improvement plan that they already started, um, it's really just now getting started. A lot of people haven't seen those right. very first bills no. that are yeah. based on this whole plan where they set your usage up. And so I've that been got looking. Some, I've yeah. been checking. Hey, real, real fast. Again, credit to Amy. Yes. She did a great job. The with entire the investigates and team. It's what we do Andrea. all the time. Thanks. Yeah. It's what yeah. we do all the time. You know, I, I will tell you that while I was away, I was across the pond. Yeah. I had people come up who recognized me from Houston. It was a, it was a Houston event. We were, there were people what? there. I was going to say, and they wow. Said, and they said. KPRC 2 plus. No, 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 no. There were some people there from Houston that we're tied into. Okay. They thanked me. They also highlighted. They said, hey, Amy's job, what she's done. Yeah. They said, you know, Thanks. we love watching you at City Hall. Yeah. And again, this is because it involves your yeah. tax dollars, your public dollars in various forms. And we're trying to make sure that uh, that money is being moved in the right direction. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, Rick. Thanks. All Always right. a pleasure having you here, Always. sir. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, before we the magic's back. Before we go, I'm not going to scroll here. Uh, give uh, me your yeah, give That's me your right. All right. If you want to get in touch with us. Watch okay. this. Amy, watch he, this. Always, he loves this because <laughs> every week. Now, I'm going to get this one right. MDAs at KPRC.com. And if you want to get in touch with Amy, Amy, it's going to be uh, A Davis at KPRC.com. And this is Z Lajway at KPRC.com. If you're wondering, hey, I'm getting it down. It's you are, yeah, I like it. It's, All right, it's in the prompter, but right. I like it. It's good, good, good progress. Good to see you, brother. Thank you, sir. Thanks, yes. Guys.